In the early 90s, Western Australia was the best state in terms of deaths per 100,000 people. We're now the worst. What that means in real terms is we lost 180 West Australians last year. Yeah, look, inattention is one of the biggest killers on Western Australia's roads. Um, many people don't understand it fully. It can be distraction or it can simply be when we're on autopilot. Driving in an inattentive state is essentially about trying to do two things at one time. Um, maybe, for example, you're driving and talking on the cell phone at the same time. Okay? The way the brain works is simply that we cannot do both of those things at one time. You are, in fact, switching from one to the other. And every time you switch, there's a cost. So the brain is this nice electrical machine, and we can measure levels of electrical activity all around the brain. Uh, we actually use uh, the emotive EPOC EG headset. It measures electrical activity put it on and there are sensors located all around the head. So we can look at patterns of behaviour of just the electricity in your brain and we can make some generalised condition that works out what it is that you're doing. Our role has been to find a way to integrate that with the car. Essentially we had to ensure that anyone who wasn't paying attention didn't have power in the car. There will be a set of green lights which show that the driver is paying attention. A set of blue lights show that the uh, driver has lost attention or is losing attention. And then red lights will indicate that the driver has lost attention and the car is slowing down. I think one of the messages clearly from, from the initial work we've done, and I think something that will be very obvious once the project is up and running fully, is that we can't do two or three things at once. If we can potentially know when somebody is no longer in an inattentive state, then obviously, potentially, uh, we could use that information to give them some signal that says, hey, you're driving, you're in an inattentive state, come on back and pay attention to your driving. By having this spin attention car, as we're calling it, we'll understand the impacts of uh, the way the mind thinks and reacts in a vehicle. And by coming to understand that, we hope then that all West Australians can embrace the fact that we don't pay attention behind the wheel like we should.